All right, folks, uh, I'm going to be narrating my bod again here, and I'm out in Southern California, and I'm trying out the Enlightenment wind pants, and these are fantastic. Now, this is a long, in-depth video for those of you that are really, really considering getting these pants, and I got the 20D fabric, and most people get the 10D, so I'm going to tell you why I got the 20D and why I'm happy with my choice. Later on in the video, I'm going to actually compare it with Enlightenment's 10D uh, fabric. So I actually have a sample of that. And, I, and these are the 20D. You can see me playing with that. You can maybe hear it rustling in the background. If I stop talking. Um, so with the shoes that I was wearing there, which are very wide, uh, the ultras there, you can undo the snaps and remove those pants very easily on trail, no problem. And um, I got myself the large version. And I'll put my specs in the description so those of you wondering how big I am, um, if, you know, if you like the fit of these, uh, that way uh, you can order exactly what I got, okay? So that way you don't have to rely on listening to the whole video. So just go below there, and if you like how this fits and you're really interested in these, I am happy with the 20D. I really am. Great choice. It's the choice that I prefer uh, in Southern California, and that's due to the fact that I, you know, every once in a while I want to sit on rocks. And um, I have ex some experience with... Uh, this type of fabric I do have a Jack Russell and he has or she has sharp little fingernails and um, this 20D I'm not it, the fingernails uh, don't affect it uh, the 10D though that could be of concern I can see my dog's claws poking through maybe my sleeping bag so sitting on rocks with 10D could pose a problem and, and I'm gonna walk through some brush also are they flexible no they're not they're not flexible pants um, they're wind pants so there's some room in there so your clothes underneath it kind of slide around so I'm gonna show you you know how you know how, how it looks when you're walking around you know how your bum's gonna look and it really captures in the air so like when you're around camp and they kind of puff out they will uh, block that wind and the warmth of your leg um, the warmth of your leg will kind of fill up that air gap and it's they're kind of warm they're not sweaty or clammy And if you're going to be dealing with maybe night temperatures and you're going to be sitting around camp or whatever, in the 50s, maybe uh, high 40s, you would be fine dressed the way I am there. Maybe throwing you know, a puffy jacket on. But for your short, you know, some short pants and some wind pants to block yeah, that wind, you um, you'd be just fine in the upper 40s. And at two ounces, are you kidding me? These things weigh two ounces. And you can walk through brush. You can sit on rocks. The 20D fabric, and it's, no, it's not extra money. And my pants weigh two ounces. And later on in this video, I'm going to have some close-ups of the material, comparing it to the 10D. So if you stick around, you can see that. And you can watch me take these off. Check this out, man. You're on trail. You get a little hot. Just take them off. I'm going to fold them up here and show you how small they are in your pocket. I could probably do this a little bit faster, but I just bought them, you know, and, you know just being a little bit careful. I'm telling you, the 20D fabric, uh, I have a, a lot more confidence in it. It doesn't have a trash bag feel. Uh, a lot of people said that about the 10, 10D. This feels more like, um, I mean, it's kind of like a, uh, kind of like my tent rainfly. I mean, it's 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 got some thickness to it. It's it's not see-through, um, but it's two ounces. 
again uh, the 10d I think is like 1.2 ounces 1.3 ounces I mean look at that it's for under an ounce more for under a half ounce more you can have a pair that you can actually walk around in and not worry about you know ripping a hole in it so let's take a closer look at this I just keep talking I know guys And you got that drawstring there. It's kind of tricky when you're not wearing it to mess with it, though, uh, because it has that stay in place feature that some of those drawstrings have. And I'm going to actually, right now, I'm going to touch some 10D fabric, and I'll let you hear what that sounds like. This is 10D fabric. And here's what the pants sound like. They're more, they're softer, uh, more malleable, a little bit more fabricy. Um, but again, the weight penalty, not that much. So the leg is a straight leg. It's not a bell bottom. Okay, so it's a straight leg. You've got two snaps there, and those snaps hold really well. They're very easy to do. It's very easy to know where they're at. Snap it. Kind of makes a snapping noise when you when you utilize them. So it's a very positive, tactile snap. You got a DWR coating on, on the outside. On the inside, uh, you have really nice stitching, okay? I inspected all the stitching, no loose threads, anything like that. Nice double stitching. I have a lot of confidence in that stitching, absolutely. All right, so, well, here we are. I'll touch the 10D again for you since I'm touching on video. That's the sleeping bag sound. And here's the pants again. It is a thicker material. The sleeping bag is uh, almost see-through. I mean, it, it's see-through. Uh, it's, it's a very thin material. Uh, more. Uh, the 20D doesn't wrinkle quite as much as my sleeping bag does, I've noticed. Yeah, you put the pants on and they, they really st lay nice. But there is a weight penalty, and when you're talking about a sleeping bag that's going to be in a nice, comfortable tent, I'm not, I don't need the 20D. I just don't. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm out, and it's dark. <laughs> Bye.